Walking around the paddock during the day, I ended up back at Todd's trailer and he was explaining to me about these cars and, and they're insane. And to make one run in this car is about an, a nice clean run, somewhere between ten dollars and $12,000. I mean, I've seen like videos and it, it looks violent. We, we leave the starting line, of course, at zero. Yeah. And then we have a 60-foot timer. And that 60 feet, we're going 100 miles an hour already. The, lead, the force that it, that it employs in our bodies is about yeah. 3 Gs. So, then at, so at 60 feet, we're going 100 miles an hour. And then at 330 feet, we're going about 270 miles an hour <laughs> to make a successful pass. Wow. And, the, and that, the, the transformation between the 3 Gs and the 270 miles an hour is a total of about eight Gs in total. Holy cow. How much horsepower is it now? Well, actually, you know what? It looks fairly large. It's a hemispherical engine, but it's only 500 cubic inch. Wow. But the deal is, when you run nitromethane engine, it's got 10,000 horsepower. This blower uh, has the ability of putting out uh, 48 pounds of boost at idle. This blower actually takes about 700 horsepower just to turn this blower. Holy cow. The, uh, the unit runs on nitromethane, yeah. and that pump up front, there's 105 gallon. That pump in essence, it puts out the same volume that a fire water truck, yep. that puts out about 100 gallons. This fuel pump does the same issue. Holy it cow. fills this motor yep. for four seconds with that much fuel. So how do you leave the line? Is it like a trans brake and a bottom? No, 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 like, no, I'll show you how it's done, uh, Gary. Yeah. The, way, the way this works is, of course, you've seen we do burnouts. Yeah, yeah. So we do during burnouts to clean the tires and keep the tires up, more so to put rubber down in the racetrack, because tires stick to rubber. They don't right. stick to the racetrack. So we, we go out, we leave our rubber down in the racetrack, we use this lever right here, yep. we pull it back, reverse the car, you know, the crew chief's in the back behind us guiding us the way he wants us to go. Someone's in front showing me where the crew chief wants me to go. Right. It won't necessarily be in the middle of the racetrack. We go and we walk the racetrack first yep. to make sure that we're gonna be in the right place where we wanna be. Yep. So we, we back the car up to the, to the uh, back far enough, they lift the body. At that point in time, they're removing those little, those little orange caps yep. to either increase or decrease the, the speed of the RPM. The crew chief adjusts the fuel pressure, closes the body, Cars now mine. Okay. They also very important. Remove the, the throttle stop. We put right. a throttle stop on there. Sometimes it doesn't always happen. <laughs> so we, we now the car is mine. I grab the brake. Yep. And roll out, re re releasing my clutch. Yep. It's a centrifugal clutch. I release the clutch. I roll out. Put on the first half of the ball. Okay. Once I, once I set the first half of the ball, wait for my competitor to do yep. the same. He sets the set, his first half of the ball. At that point, I have the brake wide on. Yep. I take the fuel lever. Put the pump wide open. Right. Take my foot off the clutch stage the car. So that's that's what we do. So and then from there it's drive. We drive it these short wheelbase cars yeah. are quite uh, quite a handful, the whole yeah. thousand feet or tonight thirteen twenty. Right.